Bible has a lot of twists and turns, but in my opinion, no story tops the one about the life of the Apostle Paul. First known in the Bible as Saul, a man who approved of killing Christ followers, but later became known as Paul, a man with a devotion to Christ not many at the time could match. Did you know that the Apostle Paul is traditionally credited with writing 13 of the 27 books in the New Testament? When writing to the church in Corinth, Paul said this, follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. It's a pretty short and seemingly simple statement, but what is he really trying to tell us? After Paul's conversion from Christ hater to Christ lover, he made it his mission to spread the gospel to the Gentiles or the people of non-Jewish background. He considered himself an ambassador of Christ. The dictionary defines an ambassador as an accredited diplomat sent by a country as its official representative to a foreign country. The Bible clearly states that as one who has proclaimed Jesus as the Son of God and as their Savior, we become ambassadors of God to a lost world. We are no longer citizens of this world, but God is now making his appeal to the lost through us. That is such an honor. But what does it really mean to be an ambassador of God? Well, for one, it's a duty as well as a privilege to represent Christ on earth and to act in a manner that brings glory to God. Through us, God can touch the hurting, heal relationships, bring peace, and encourage the broken, among many other things. My prayer for you is that you find great joy in being a resident representative of Christ in a lost and broken world.